Hello, in this Python programming video, we are going to cover cookies. So we're going to cover setting cookies, retrieving cookies, and deleting cookies. So to set a cookie, you import. So you need to import the cookie module like so. And that, that's all pretty cool. But, but you might be wondering, you know, what is, you know, an actual cookie? Because Trust me, it's not the things that you eat. No, no, no. But it is, you know, named after them because, you know, it leaves a breadcrumb, a trail of what you've been doing. So cookies essentially allow you to set data and they're stored with your browser's session. So that's great when you, you I'm sure you've been back to a website where you've logged in and you already logged in. You're just like, yes, I don't have to log in again. Or, you know, it's got some other extra information that you've already set. That's all really cool. And he uses cookies. So, yeah, that's it. I, I, honestly, the, I think that's the best way to get your head around it. It's just some values that you the there to keep track of you or, you know, your user session and some other basic information around you. Probably has your user ID, maybe a couple of other pieces of information. And therefore, you can just, you know, get that information from, let's say, a database. We're not going to be using a database or anything like that. But once you're comfortable with this, feel free to check out the database videos in this series and then combine them and you're all good to go. Okay, so we've imported the cookie module. We need to create a cookie sort of variable object. I'm going to call it cook equals cookie dot simple cookie. And to set a cookie, you just do cook. Now, quotation marks in the square brackets, and then you put the name of your cookie. I'm going to put user ID equals for on. And I'm going to set a expiry date. Bear in mind, expiry dates are set in seconds. So this is the way you do it. Put expires equals and I'm going to do 60 times by 60 times by 24. So remember it's in seconds. So 60, that's a minute, times by 60, that's an hour, times by 24, that's a day. So if we were to time this by 365, we'd have a cookie that's set for a year. So that's fine. We're only going to be using one cookie in this video, but to set another cookie, just duplicate this line, change the cookie name, and change the data. Or if you need to change the data that you set another cookie, and you can change the expiry date as well by you doing something very similar. Next, what we need to do is do a print, and we need to print our cook or our cookie object, so we actually set the cookie. So at the moment, this is just created in Python, but we need to set it in HTML form. And now, if we save that, reload the page as so, so i can see the local host the cookies there's nothing there so I reload and go back to cookies it's been set now which is fantastic so we got our cookie set so that's all well and good how do we actually retrieve it to retrieve it's really simple i'm just going to retrieve it in a print line you just do cook square brackets quotation marks the name of your cookie user id and then dot value so that simple. Go back, refresh, and as you see, it prints out for Han, which is the user ID in this cookie. And again, you, you probably won't just do it in raw form like this. You will probably get it in, let's say, Python, and then maybe link to a database and get to the information for this particular user ID, something along those lines. But once you're all good with this, you're all good to go. The final thing I want to cover is how to actually set an, ex you know, how to delete a cookie. And it's actually, you know, kind of weird, I think, how you delete a cookie. To delete a cookie, you have to set an expiry date, which is before the current date. So, date in the past. So, let me see if I put it here. Deleting a cookie. So, if we copy this, and obviously, this just, you know, sets it into the future from, you know, currently. So, we don't want that. What we want. So we could do something like THU, which is Thursday, 01, Jan, 1970. So this is like epoch time. 00.00.00 GMT. And save that now. And if we go back, refresh, as you can see, there is no cookie in here. 
for this because he, as soon as we set it, we are expiring it. So obviously, I'll comment this line out. It'll be there so you can access the source code. We don't want that there to constantly be deleting our cookie. So that's it for the cookies video. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go and have some chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next Python demo.